day after tomorrow, I'm replacing my handlebars to a uh, high rise. Not high rise, but high. I'm going 12 inch. Black, keep the Toyota. Review about the Chotec. Switching over to the 787. So I thought it would be a good idea to take some footage uh, before and after, you know, to see and compare the ride, uh, you know, the riding position. Because there's a lot of, you know, a lot of questions or a lot of thought out there, people suggesting uh, that it's, uh, it's a better ride, more comfortable with a higher handlebar. So I'll compare it later on to my new handlebar. I decided not to do the install by myself because I've seen it's it's not too complicated, but it's absolutely time-consuming and uh, a lot of uh, work hours uh, needed to replace them. So it's uh, taking apart the fairing in front, uh, a few of the electronics, the wiring, then the clamp. And my, <laughs> my camera just, my 360 camera just flew off. So let me set it up. I'll stop on the side and set it up. So anyway, one day I'm going to bring uh, the bike over to the shop and they're going to be replacing uh, a 12 inch rise handlebar. I'll make a full review of the handlebars once I get them. Uh, I do have new things, some new things that I have. Look at these riding shoes, not riding sneakers that I got after uh, posting that video of uh, safe versus cool. Some people recommended. I got uh, cheap, these affordable yet protective sneakers. I think they look pretty cool. So take a look at them. I'll have uh, a link by the description. I think they're made by Built. Uh, I think somewhere around forty dollars, so totally affordable. So some things they say about uh, riding position. But look at me now. I think I'm somewhat slouched. My back is like bent back, and my neck is is curved up to be able to see the position. What I was told, once I get a high-rise bar or you know a higher, higher bar, my stance will be somewhat like this. I'll know in a few days. Also, long distance uh, riding, you know, many hours will be way, way more comfortable and less, uh, less tiring over time. So these are the shoes. The sneakers built pretty nice. I like them. Uh, protection uh, on it is, I would say, uh, medium to light. No metal inside, but the, the ankles are protected and the front is protected with a few layers. And they feel comfortable. Hopefully they're cool too. like an old man well how's my posture now haven't been on my bike for a while it's always nice when weather cools down it's really hot the last few days weather cools down evening to get on my bike for like an hour just to wind down unwind just to unwind relax calm down although days have been been pretty nice and uh not too stressful lately but it's always fun to take out the bike and just go for a spin oh i also did get a nice a nice upgrade i'll show you later i didn't want to make a whole video about it 
because it's a, it's a simple install. It really is. It's a simple install. A little device made by uh, Custom Dynamics. I put it under underneath my uh, my seat. I connect it in line with uh, the wiring that goes to the back light. Now uh, the Electric Glide standard has uh, three bulbs in the back. Uh, the tail light, which is the center tail light, is a running light and brake light only. And the two bulbs or two lights on the sides are signal lights only. So what this triple play does. It converts to uh, different options and pretty much gives you that all three lights can work as running lights and brake lights and the ones on the side can actually work as uh, signal lights as usual. So you're gaining way, way more visibility for the price of whatever that device costs. I think it was like $89. One of, the, one of you guys on the video, one of the videos mentioned it and said there was a Harley uh, part number that does that, but I was unable to find a model for, you know, for, for my uh, electric light standard. So, researched it a little bit and found, and found a part number uh, actually with Custom Dynamic that does that device, and it's programmable. You can, you can uh, program how dim or how bright the signal lights are so they match with your tail light. And you can actually signal, uh, and you can actually program, you know, the sequence of the brake. So I put it at first uh, initial hit of the brake, it strobes like four times fast, and then switches to uh, steady brake light. I'll show you later. How's the position now? Any better? Three weeks later. So guys, this is three, almost four weeks later. Got a lot going on. Most important, I got my handlebars installed. These beautiful KST Customs Mayhem Bagger uh, handlebars, 12 inch rise. So you compare, you can compare the posture and the riding position. Definitely, you can see uh, my hands are straight out, stretched right out. They're even, uh, they're actually wider. And when I was uh, searching what, uh, what handlebars to get, I didn't want them to be too wide. So uh, the Mayhem Baggers were, uh, I would say, I think 37 or 36, uh, 37 or 36 inch wide. I didn't want it to be too wide uh, for handling in slow speeds when I need to do a very sharp turn. You can see I, uh, I used the mirrors that I had before. I, uh, they were installed on the top, so I took the right one, swapped it, put it on the left side, and dropped it to the bottom. Same thing with the left. Left on the right, dropped to the bottom, and they're pretty much sitting in the same position that uh, the mirrors were before. I can definitely feel that I'm not hunched back as before and my vision, my sight is straight ahead whereas before I was down here. Now I'm like more erect. See I didn't want, I didn't want the handlebars to be too wide so when, when I'm handling in slow speeds doing like a, a tight turn you know uh, in a parking lot you see how far out, when, they're, when the handlebars are really wide, how far out my left arm, my outer arm is? It's really stretched out. I didn't want that too much. So it's been almost uh, three weeks since uh, the last time I... Uh, I talked to the camera, and there's two significant, uh, in my eyes, significant things I want to talk about. First one, 
is the Ford Bronco. Oh my God, did you see that, that truck or SUV? Amazing, I am tempted to order one. The only thing is, I'm probably gonna go for the Cybertruck. But if I hadn't had my mind set on the, the Cybertruck, I'd probably get that, that Bronco. Amazing, beautiful, beautiful. Amazing the way it looks and how aggressive it looks and, and its performance. I just can't wait to see it on the streets, amazing. And the second thing, most significant actually, more significant than the Bronco, is prices of gold and silver. Now, if you listen to me in, uh, in my video that I posted, I think April, I'll have the link right at the bottom and also uh, over here on the left, actually it's on the top right, where I was talking about the only thing you want to invest now is gold and silver. Had you listened to me and bought yourself a few ounces of gold and silver then, on silver you'd be up 70, 80 percent and uh, I think 20 or 30 percent on gold. And I'll tell you a little secret, or let's put it this way, my opinion, this rally has just begun. It is going to keep going up and up and up and up. The only reason I'm saying it now, not because I'm trying to give you some kind of uh, advice. Do your own research, figure out what you want to do. But I want to have this on record that on uh, the end of July 2020, when the price of silver was $23, I told you to buy. And two to three years from now, when the price of silver will skyrocket, you will say to yourself, why didn't I, or why did I, didn't, why didn't I listen to Sandy? Or, thank God I listened to Sandy. Again, I have no aspirations to being a financial analyst or an advisor or anything. Although I, I think I actually do know a lot, but I'm not giving you any tips or recommending anything. Do your own research. But remember these words when I told you. Silver, $23. We're going to see it in the hundreds a few years from now. That's what I'm saying. Remember that. Well, how's my posture now? Well, guys, if you're enjoying this video up till now, I appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you want to keep watching my videos, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell. So you get notifications every time I put out a new video. Titanic! <laughs>